In this tutorial video, we're going to have a look at differentiating sine x and cos x from first principles. To be able to do this, you need to have covered two topics already, so you need to be familiar with the compound angle formulae for expanding trig brackets, and you've got to be familiar with the small angle approximations. If you're not, we've done tutorial videos on these, so please do check them out, otherwise we'll start. So we're going to differentiate d dx, differentiate with respect to x, sine x, subbing that into the differentiation from first principles formula. The limit is h tends to 0 of f of x plus h, that's sine of x plus h. Take sine x, take f of x, all over h. So notice that we can expand this sine of x plus h using the compound angle formula for sine. So that becomes sine x cos h plus sine h cos x. Then we take sine x, close bracket, and again all of that divided by h, which is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of right so now looking at this it's saying that h is approaching 0 that means h must be small if it's approaching 0 because h is small we can then apply to all of these trig terms involving h we can now apply the small angle approximations so sine x and cos h because h is small becomes 1 minus h squared over 2 sine h according to the small angle approximations when h is small becomes h and that's all divided by h equals the limit as h approaches 0 of let's expand this bracket now so sine x times 1 is sine x sine x times h squared over 2 is h squared over 2 sine x plus h cos x minus sine x all over h so here we've got a sine x take a sine x they cancel giving the limit as h approaches 0 so what's remaining it's telling us to divide it all by h so dividing that by h the h squared just becomes h so minus h over 2 sine x plus then the h divided by h just gives 1 plus a cos x on its own and as h approaches 0 well this h here becomes 0 meaning that this term is insignificant i.e. disappears giving just cos x so the differential of sine x will just prove by first principles that it's cos x let's have a go now at differentiating cos x so d dx of cos x so again subbing into the differentiation from first principles formula we had cos of x plus h take cos of x all over h equals the limit as h approaches 0 now we're going to use the cos formula for expanding this bracket so that becomes cos x cos h minus sine x sine h take cos of x all over h and again noticing that h is small so we can use the small angle approximations that becomes cos x times 1 minus h squared over 2 minus sine x times h take cos x all over h expanding this bracket now so the limit as h approaches 0 of cos x take h squared over 2 cos x minus h sine x writing that in a different order putting the h at the front as we'd expect constants to be at the front of a 
function take cos x cos x take cos x is 0 that was all over h so now simplifying what we've got left equals the limit as h approaches 0 of so h squared divided by h is h over 2 cos x and that was negative minus an h over h is 1 sine x and as h approaches 0 this cos x becomes multiplied by 0 that just leaves us with minus sine x so the differential of sine x is cos x and the differential of cos x is minus sine x then differentiating trig functions the sine and cos becomes cyclic we get sine which differentiates to cos which then differentiates to minus sine well we know how to differentiate sine so we differentiate minus sine just becomes minus cos and back to the start again and it keeps going around in this cycle so sine differentiates to cos which differentiates to minus sine differentiates to minus cos and so the cycle continues for more videos like this subscribe to our youtube channel or go to a-levelmathsrevision.com